There were reports of how the colors of the Bahamian flag graced iconic monuments like the Empire State in New York City and Niagara Falls in the USA and Canada, but nothing could compare to the dazzling lights and spectacular show put on in the Bahamas itself as the country marked 50 years of independence. The inspection of the guard by Governor General C.A. Smith in a military tattoo fit for 50. Gun salute and all. Prayers for the nation. Then dazzling light shows like the drones that depicted national symbols in motion and the father of the nation, the late Sir Lyndon Pindling, to the delight of spectators. And the best part, the performances and the reaction to it all by an exuberant people. Good to be a Bahamian and good to... Um, come here and still be alive today. This is what independence is all about. And I cannot wait, because I know I'm going to be around for another 50 years, <laughs> to see what we have to offer in the next 50 years. I just want to say to my Bahamian people, Happy Independence! <laughs> it's, it's good to see the sense of patriotism and maturity that we're exhibiting. And um, I'm listening to the message about um, planning the future and about thinking about the future, and that's important. But the sense of unity that we're having in our country, that you, that you feel pulsing for this whole week, is a wonderful feeling. Thousands of Bahamians, thousands congregated at Clifford Park in Nassau, where it all began on July 10th in 1973. Up with the flag yet again, and a fabulous fireworks finale. DeAndre Hamilton reporting. <laughs>